Hi, everybody. In the last video, I was dr I finished drilling out all the main holes for the rear window. Okay, so now that that's done, uh, we're going to click everything back up, put it in place, and we're going to start tapping the holes for the roll bar. So the rear window is held down by screws, or at least in the roll bar, it's held down by screws. Uh, we, we tap the roll bar, we actually tap through the acrylic into the roll bar so that a number six screw will fit. Later on, we actually take a, uh, a larger drill bit and we uh, clean out those holes in the acrylic because that's not really meant to have grab. That's just, we're just using it so that the tap can go through very easily. Uh, the rear holes that where the rear window meet the tail cone, those are actually just held in with uh, screws, washers, and nylock nuts, which will be put in much later as well as a nice thing of sealant. So we're going to put like some uh, tank sealant or RTV or something like that around the entire perimeter of the window when it's fully installed, which won't be now, it'll be you know, much later. So yeah, just tapping away. Uh, you wind up drilling a number 36 hole, and that is the perfect hole size you need to use for a uh, tap for a uh, number 6 by 32 thread uh, screw. And that's what we're using here. I'm not using the cutting fluid. Uh, it doesn't really need it. I do... I might be using like some WD-40 or something for something like this. Okay, so while and that and, and it's just I'm just going down the, the row. That's all I'm doing. And then every time I tap a hole, then I go back and I actually screw in a number six screw in its place, right? Because you you got to keep everything really tight. Uh, while I'm doing that, let's go over some updates. Uh, one, don't buy shitty taps. I'm just telling you from experience, don't buy shitty taps. Uh, I'll explain it all later. I don't want to go over it now because it's a heartbreak. But you no, know, everything is fine. I just. I bought a crappy tap and I paid the price for it. Uh, two, uh, I'm not going to Mars. Uh, I would like to thank everyone's uh, well wishes and congratulations and good luck on your next round kind of interview. Now that that was a that was an April Fool's joke. If you go back and you listen to the April Fool's the April first video where I say hey I'm going to Mars right at the end I said you know happy April Fool's Day, but no one caught no one caught that, which I thought was funny. Let's see, do I have any rants? Oh, yeah. To the mammals. Go f*** yourselves. What, what are mammals, you ask? Those are middle-aged men in Lycra. All right. M-A-M-I-L. Middle-aged men in Lycra. So the road that leads to my uh, airport entrance, right, it's a 45-mile-an-hour four-lane road. And there's not a lot of exits on it, so people actually use it as pretty much as a drag strip sometimes. It is, however, between a golf course and an airport, so people feel that if they're doing jogging or bicycling or anything down this road where there are no houses, that they won't be judged. So it's funny. You, you go through the island. I mean, there's my, a few people walking around, but you go down this road, and it is, it is chock-a-block. It's like the weirdest random uh, seed, anyone that's in video games, it's like the weirdest thing where just you go into a random area and there's a ton of people for no reason that's what this looks like and so yeah you'll just see 10 12 bikes in the lane just taking up the entire lane and they all it's funny because they have lycra on a lot of them have beards and they have their masks on nothing like a mask on top of a huge beard that's three times the size of your face so anyway they know what they can do uh here i've got a diamond uh sort of countersink style bit, which I'm using to countersink. I'm not using an actual cutter, I'm just using a stone bit to grind. So I'll explain all of that in the next video. See you soon.